welcome and welcome back. My name is Janice on What Craftastic DIYs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for supporting my channel. In this first DIY, I'm going to be making four pretty Christmas trees all made with Dollar Tree products. So I'm taking the Dollar Tree scarf and I'm taking the Dollar Tree a foam tree and I'm measuring it right now seven and a half inches letting you know how tall it is so I'm going to make my tree out of this cardstock I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to measure it ten and a half inches so I'm going to be using my pencil with a string attached to it and I'm going to measure ten and a half inches in diameter and mark in the spot and then I'm going to place my pencil on the paper and this is going to create the shape of the tree I'm going to be using So now that I got my shape, I'm just going to cut it out. So I've seen a lot of uh, YouTube uh, DIYs and um, how they make these. A lot of people do different ways. Um, I found the best way for myself is to fold it in half to get the point and then start rolling one side and then roll the other side. This way I get an actual nice point to it. So now I'm going to grab a little bit of tape just to hold it in place. Um, put a little piece right at the top. I'm also going to place a piece of tape down towards the bottom until I can start hot gluing it. So I removed a piece of the tape and I'm just placing the hot glue and then I'll remove the bottom part of the tape and replace it with the glue. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree scarf and which makes it easier to cut because the lines pretty much are right there. So I'm just cutting a bunch of strips. So now the strip is done. I need to cut it further um, so this way I can fit on the tree. I'm going to take a part of the strip, I think about two inches, and I just fold it in half, and that's where I cut it. So I'm going to be doing the technique uh, turn and twist, and I'm just placing a little glue, and then I'm going to place about an inch down below the bottom, that's where I'm starting, and place the first one down. So here's where I'm showing you how to do it. Um, you just turn it, twist it, and then you hot glue it down. I probably should have made these a little bit bigger. Um, two inches was just a little bit too small. So if you do make this, make sure they're long enough. So I got the first row done and I'm gonna be working on the second and the third row. Um, keep in mind though, if you do decide to make something like this, it is very tedious and very long. It did take me about an hour. I had to cut the strips and then cut them in half again and then glue them. Gluing was, <laughs> I had so much glue on my fingers. So this came out pretty cute. I'm almost done uh, finishing off right now and just putting a few more pieces at the top. So I'm going to be working on the second one. I'm going to take this microfiber that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to actually put that on top of it and cut it out around it and then I'm going to place the glue all around the side of the tree and just kind of like roll it. Now that I have it glued, I'm just going to cut around the sides and just uh, kind of make it look a little neater. So I want to put a base on the bottom and I got this from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place a little hot glue at the bottom and there it is. It looks pretty. So now I am going to decorate it. I'm going to take this what is it, snowflake, wired snowflake from Dollar Tree, and just a little hot glue, a little piece, wrap it around and hot glue until I get to the end. 
I decided to do white because it's pretty for Christmas and it goes well with my decor. I really wanted to add fairy lights to this because it would have been really pretty. I just didn't have any fairy lights left and Dollar Tree didn't have any as well. So that gives you an idea what you can do with these. But this is how it turned out. I think it came out very pretty. So I'm making two more. I already cut them out the same way and I'm going to take this pretty yarn that I got from Walmart and I'm going to start wrapping both of them actually but I'm just going to show you the one. I'm going to start off with a little bit of hot glue at the bottom and then I'll be able to wrap really fast. So I only went one way uh, wrapping it around. Some people do it zigzag, some do, do it you know just all kinds of directions. So now I'm at the top, I'm just finishing it off and then I'll just place the glue and I should be done with this one. Alright, so that one's done. I'm going to work on this one, but I'm not going to go through the whole steps again. So this one's a little bit bigger and this one's done as well. And then I'm going to start decorating them. So the smaller one, I'm going to take these Dollar Tree beads and I'm just going to hot glue and wrap them around. And that's it on this one. So that one's done. I'm working on the second one. I'm taking these larger pearls from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place some glue and place them down. All four of these trees are different, but they all came out really pretty. I didn't put too many beads because they are kind of large. I just scattered a few here and there. And this is how they both came out. They came out very different, but very pretty. These are the supplies I use for this DIY. So this one is very adorable. I wanted to make this for quite a while. Taking the cobblestone village buildings, I have a toy store, Victorian home, and the candy store. So I'm just going to paint with two coats of the apple barrel white paint. It probably would be faster if you had spray paint, but it's like 30 degrees here where I live. So now I'm going to work on the roof. Uh, I'm going to make two, the black color, and then one just the brown color. It's, uh, I think it's chocolate. It's called chocolate brown. Okay, here's the paint. It's called melted chocolate. So now everything is all painted and dry. I'm going to take some Mod Podge and some of this glitter, the white glitter, and I'm going to start applying it to the front and to the top of the roof as well. Village buildings, they're so cute, especially when you turn the little lights on underneath. I have the ones that change colors. It's so beautiful. I think these came out so pretty and they match my decor so well. I love these cobblestone buildings. So I'm taking my puffy paint, my white puffy paint, and I'm creating a little uh, snow. There's like, I think there's a design on these little village buildings, and I'm just following the design. But the one in the middle, there wasn't one, so I just created like some snow effects on top. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with the glitter. And this is how they turned out. So pretty.
For this DIY, I will be using two plastic nutcrackers that I purchased from Dollar Tree. This also was an inspiration that I've seen last year um, from a crafter called White Sparrow, and I loved it, and so I wanted to give it a try. So right now, I'm just trying to remove the hair, so this way it won't get in, in the way painting. You know, you get those little fuzzies in your paint. It was a struggle to get the hair off, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so my last one, I actually just taped it up. I didn't remove it. So I'm going to be using white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint both of them and it did take about three coats I believe it was. Alright so they're dry now so I'm going to start painting them and I'm going to take it's called Pretty Pink and Sage and I'm going to be using the white from Apple Barrel as well. So they're going to be going in this glass cylinder. I needed a base, so I'm using these little styrofoams that I got from Dollar Tree, and I just covered it with uh, the automotive, uh, the white microfiber. So I have to make another one, and I will show you how exactly to make one, unless you have like one of the round wood from Dollar Tree. I didn't have one, plus you have to drill a hole, and I don't have the tools. So now I'm going to start painting um, with the pretty pink first. So they're going to have two different looks, but they are going to complement each other. The colors are going to match very well. So I'm going to be using the pink color, just painting the bottom part of the little hat. And then the top part will be sage. So I'm using the paint, pink paint to uh, paint the middle part where the belt looks like a belt area. So I'm going to just use the pink first. This took a lot of patience and a lot of detail. I don't have the steadiest hand <laughs> and it took at least two days to do this. It was very tedious, but the end results are amazing. Now I'm taking the other hat and I'm just gonna paint the top part of it uh, the pink color. You really can't go too fast painting because it's very tedious and little spots and areas, so you really have to take your time. So now I'm using the pink to paint the area just above the knee. Looks like a little belt around his knee. So now I'm going to be using this metallic gold paint to paint their swords because I painted everything white so now I have to paint everything back. Now I'm using the gold paint on the other sword. So now I'm using the pink color, just placing it right in the middle where the belt area is. And I believe that may be it. Now I'm going to start using the sage color. I was going to use a different green. I think it was called eucalyptus, but it was just too light. So now I'm going to use this green color for the bottom of the hat and then the ball at the top of the hat. Now I'm taking the other hat and I'm just going to paint the green color at the top and in between the crevices. And that should do it for this one. So now I'm taking the green paint and I'm painting on, uh, those are like the shoulder pads, I guess, and then the cufflinks. Now I'm taking the other nutcracker and I'm going to paint his lower leg area green color. 
I know these colors are not Christmas colors, but I like them. They're very subtle and they're very pretty. But, you know, if you do this particular DIY, you certainly can use any color you like. Christmas colors, green, blue, red. Now I'm using the green color in the upper torso area. Using the green in the arm area as well. And you can see how tedious this is. It's very time consuming, but like I said, the end results are amazing. So I'm painting the, the lower half um, of this Nutcracker green. Now I'm going back to the pink color and I'm going to paint his sleeve the pink. You can see it's starting to look really nice. So I decided to paint his upper torso area all pink. Now I'm taking the pink paint in the back end of my brush and I'm going to create a few dots. I'm also putting a few dots on this nutcracker as well. I think this breaks it up a bit and makes it look really cute. I'm going to do the same thing to the other nutcracker. Now I'm taking the green color and I'm going to create a few dots around his knee area. Now I'm going to be using a bunch of different jewels that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to start decorating the nutcrackers and give them some glamorous look to them. So I'm just applying three little diamonds or jewels on his lower part of his leg. Now I'm wrapping another jewel around it's like a belt area around his knee. I'm going to take two jewels and wrap it twice. Now I'll be placing the jewels around his cuff area. Now I'm taking a larger jewels and I'm going to place two strips on his chest. Now I need to add some jewels to his hat, so I'm taking the larger jewels and going to wrap it all around his little hat. So I'm going to do the second one off camera the same identical way. They came out amazing. They are so pretty in person. They're so sparkly. So now I'm going to take the styrofoam from Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you how I did the first one. I'm just going to take the nutcracker and put them on top and trace the outline of the base.
So now I'm going to take this knife that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to cut around the circle that I outlined and then once I have that cut around the edges I'm going to take my scissors and kind of like dig around inside so the nutcracker will fit inside. And this is how it looks after I took my scissors and kind of like scraped everything out in the middle. Now I'm just making sure the nutcracker fits inside. Now I'm going to take this microfiber that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place the flora foam right on top of the microfiber. Then I'm going to take some hot glue and start rolling. So I'm trimming the excess material right now and then I will start hot gluing the back down. So because it's round, I'm going to have to cut um, all around the edges and then splice a little bit in between so this way it lays flat. I wish I had the tool to carve out the round piece from Dollar Tree, the little round wood piece. It, for the base, it looks really professional, it looks really nice. I don't have that tool to cut the middle out. So this is an alternative, um, and although it's not the wood piece, it still came out very pretty. So I'm going to be working on the front area. I'm cutting off the big chunk right now, and then I'm going to start hot gluing the front the same way I did the back, uh, placing it down. It depends on how far you want the material to go down. I went like a quarter down, so this way the little um, toy soldier will fit inside. And this is how it turned out. Not too bad. It's pretty cute. So I want to doll it up a little bit. I'm taking this Dollar Tree ribbon. It's like white and silver it's very pretty I'm gonna hot glue um, a little piece around the middle Now they're both finished, now I'm going to take some Dollar Tree jewels and I'm just going to place a roll on top going all the way around. So I ran out of the thicker jewel, so I'm going to take this little thin one and just finish off wrapping it around the back. All right, so now I'm going to take the nutcrackers and place them inside. I'm going to place some glue this way. They won't move around and they'll stay pretty stable. And um, they fit snug. And then I'm going to place the glass jar over the top and they came out so pretty. And this is the final product. This came out so pretty and the jewels create such a beautiful sparkle. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. I do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow. And with that said, I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.